Hey, what's going on? So this mic right here is the uh, the Rode NTG4 Plus. It's pretty much the same thing as the NTG4. Um, the 4 Plus is a little bit longer because it has that built-in battery. It's I think it's a $30 difference to get the from the 4 to the 4 Plus. So in my opinion, why wouldn't you just go for the 4 Plus? It has the built-in battery. They claim it has 150 hours of use, which is unbelievable. Uh, this one, the NTG4 Plus, you can also, you know, connect it to phantom power. Um, it's just if you're in a situation where either you don't have phantom power or, or you know, you don't want to, if you're using like a recorder and you don't want to, you know, use the batteries up in that too fast, you can just use the battery in the mic. One great thing about Rode is it has a 10-year warranty. It comes with a one-year warranty, and then if you register it through Rode, you get a 10-year warranty, which is when you have a, comp a company that knows their product is good and they can back it with 10 years, um, especially electronics, you know the microphone's going to be good. It's, it's going to be a very, very good, well-built microphone. Um, to be able to have a 10-year warranty, that's amazing. So that's huge. Um, you're paying around $400 for the microphone. Fairly expensive, but you're getting a very, very high-quality mic um, for that much money and, you know, the 10-year warranty. So eventually, I mean, it's going to pay for itself, if, you know, after that long. It has a port in the back so it can charge through mini USB right above the XLR input um, on the back of the mic. So there's three buttons on the top. The first one, if you hold it down, it's power. And then when you're connected to phantom power, the LED is going to turn blue, the power button. So when it's green, you have 50 to 150 hours of battery left. When it, tur when it turns orange, it, you have about 50% left. When it turns red, you have 10%. And then when it starts blinking red, you have, I believe, 2% which is you still get four hours left um, with the mic. So that's amazing. Um, usually, you know, unless you're doing like an all day shoot, but then again, you'll have time to, to plug it in for a little bit. You plug it in for 15 minutes and you'll still get a, a, you'll be able to use it for the rest of the day. So it's a very, very good mic. Uh, the battery in it is, that's amazing. 150 hours is incredible. So the power button also is uh, minus 10 dB on it. So you click it once and it'll light up and let you know that it's on. And that's for, you know, loud places like if you're filming in a concert or something like that and it's super, super loud and it'll just give you, you know, a negative dB. The button above that is a high pass filter. Um, you click that, the light comes on and... You know, that's for, you know, ambience noise or if you have things in the background like an air conditioner and, you know, it'll, it'll try to cut all that stuff out um, with the filter. Um, the third button is a high frequency button. So if you have like a uh, blimp or something covering the mic, it will allow it to pick up more of the person talking or whatever you're recording. Um, it'll allow you to to pick those words up or whatever a little bit clearer uh, because you have so much covering the mic. So it just brings back that high frequency. And yeah, another great thing is if you unplug it um, or you turn you turn off your, your camera, you turn off the mic, um, when you turn it back on, your settings will stay the same so you don't have to, you know, remember what you had and, and sit there and dial it back in. Um, it'll just be ready to go the way you had it set up last time which is pretty convenient. It's a little longer than I thought. It definitely, I have the Panasonic DVX200 and it looks very awkward on there. It's very long. The NTG4 isn't as long. It's probably, with the XLR, it stops, like, let me try to get this in frame. So the NTG4, the XLR cable would stop like where this one connects. So if you didn't, you know, if you didn't have the XLR cable, it'd probably be like right here. And this one obviously is a little bit longer because of the battery. But uh, yeah, so I mean, it's a it's a great weight. It's a great it's 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 really light. Um, but you can when you hold it, you can just tell it's it's very well made.
just got this the other day. Um, right now, I'm just recording straight into the camera. I have an H6 Zoom that I'll probably be using most of the time to record into. For more of the run and gun stuff, I'll, I'll be putting it straight on my DVX, but uh, when I'm doing like interviews or things like that, I'll, uh, I'll be running it into the H6 Zoom. So yeah, it comes with this Rode mic cover, um, which, is, which is good. And then it also comes with a, a little bag where you can put everything in. It also comes with this mic clip for like a light stand or something like that. Obviously, if you're going to go outside and, and with the wind, you would want a dead cat or, you know, something that will block the wind better than this. This is more for like inside if you're, you know, moving from person to person um, when they're speaking. So you don't get, you know, too much wind from that uh, moving around. But obviously you can use it for outside, but if it's really windy or whatever, you're going to pick up more than you would with if you had a dead cat on it. Yeah, I mean, all in all, this is a great mic. Um, for the price, for $400, and you're getting a 10-year warranty, in my opinion, it's worth it. You're, you're definitely getting a great product. Hope you guys like it. All right.